Oh, welcome to Sonya Podcast. So, someone sent me this. <laughs> um, at first, when I seen it, I was like, "Oh my God, what, what, what are you trying to say?" But as I read it, it was very helpful. So, this is for women who suffer with menopause. You know, you get those hot flashes and those move swings. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think there's an... I know scientifically they said there's an age limit for menopause. But to be honest, I don't really think that there's an age limit for menopause. I think you can catch menopause. Just not in your teen years, but anywhere from your late 20s to early 50s. Okay, so you want to drink three liters of water because drinking more water during menopause is one simple lifestyle change that can possibly improve brain function. Make your skin, hair, and nails healthier, reduce urinary urinacies and bladder irritation. Relieve menopause, nausea, and hot flashes. Reduce the intensity and frequencies of headaches and ease menopause cramps. You can add oranges, limes, lemons, grapefruits to your water. You're going to want to sip this throughout the day. Don't chug it. And, um... Your next one you're going to need is calcium and magnesium. This reduce developing osteoporosis by taking 1 1300 milligrams of dietary calcium every day. This equals about 3 to 4 servings of daily basis food. Metasium is another mineral especially helpful at the time. Now, you could get this from your food, your supplements, your diary intake to help reduce common symptoms of menopause, such as difficulty sleeping, depression, anxiety, and heart disease. Magnesium mills is found in raw almonds, dark leafy greens, lentils, organic raw, and non-GMO soy tofu you want a lean protein at every meal so whether it's animal based or plant based the natural decline is estrogen for menopause is also linked to a decrease in your muscle mass and bone strength for this reason women going through menopause need to eat more protein idly aim for between 50 to 90 grams from lean protein from animals and plant based sources so some of my some ways to supplement with high protein food is to eat nutrient rich fish like salmon, lean organic poultry several times a week. Other additions you can add into your salad, smoothies, or your bacons that are clean protein sources include beans, chickpeas, chai, pumpkin seeds, farm eggs, dairy greek yogurt. You can also use a protein powder to help boost your protein intake, although, you know, don't rely on that solely. You know, because protein powder it provides a super quick and easy way to boost a whole full smoothie with other ingredients that also support menopause. Also, choose an or- organically sourced whey based or vegan brown rice pea base. Okay? Another one you can use is the Magic of Maca Root Powder. Maca powder is naturally rich in calcium, acid, vitamins, and minerals. It's also a superfood that can boost your... And you can put it in coffee. The powder root contains high levels of iron, iodine to promote healthy cells and to help keep your metabolism ticking. It is also found to improve depression symptoms, hot flashes, and post-menopausal women. 
So you want to try one or two teaspoons of great maca root powder for a month or two. Track how it makes you feel. Omega-3 rich host foods. So during menopause, women may experience a decrease in estrogen level. Incorporated estrogen enhancing food into your diet can help boost estrogen levels. Some of these whole foods include soybeans, flat seeds, dry fruit, garlic, high fiber grains, sesame seeds. In addition to these estrogen boost foods, the omega the omega three fatty acid found in avocado, chai seeds. Flat seeds, oil, fish, and walnuts can be very beneficial also for menopause. So, not all, but some people gain weight around the belly during menopause. Um, so, you want to... Balance your blood your blood sugar levels. So while consuming regular fiber will reduce sugar and food craving and lower your risk of developing um type two diabetes. So you want to consume at least forty to eighty grams of whole food source high fiber foods. You know, include berries, chai seeds, beans, lentils, raw oats to your recipes. You also want to have estrogen boosting foods so your hormones, you know the hormones that's responsible for sex and reproductive ability to win when you when you have low levels of estrogen and during menopause it can negatively affect your mood, sexual desire, bone health and more. The good news is that there are many foods that can boost your natural estrogen level during menopause. B vitamin B Rich foods are important in creation and activation of estrogen in the body. Consuming rich sources such as animal sources like fish, poultry, meat, eggs, dairy products, as well as leafy green vegetable beans, peas, can be very beneficial during menopause. You know, because lower level of these vitamins can lead to reduced.